Hello everyone and welcome back to another installment of Let's Play Dragon Age Origins. Last we left off, this thing started, and there's a reason why I wanted to trade Morrigan out for Liliana in here. And that's largely because Morrigan disapproves with the choice that I pretty much inevitably make with the situation. Um, is your profiteering ruffling some feathers? You could say that, yes. The nerve of these people! He is charging outlandish prices for things people desperately need. Their blood is filling his pockets. There's been so many of these men lately. Heartless opportunists, all. I have limited supplies. The people decide what those supplies are worth to them. You bought most of your wares from these very people last week. Now they flee for their lives, and you want to talk business? Look, stranger. I have a hundred silvers if you drive this rabble off, starting with that priest. I'm an honest merchant, nothing more. Honest. You don't think you're being unscrupulous? Would it help these folks if they could buy no goods at all? They spend their very last coin because they are desperate, and this man preys upon them as surely as the bandits outside the city. Ah, I'm not arguing anymore. Drive off this woman and get your hundred silvers. Otherwise, I'm taking my wagon and leaving. I can be pretty damn persuasive here. I think you can compromise and still make a profit, no? Perhaps. If that woman agrees I'm allowed to charge something. Do what you must. So long as the prices do not beggar the needy. Fine, fine, done. And since you don't look too needy, normal prices for you. Fine. A fine compromise. Thank you for your generous assistance. May the Maker watch over your path. Liliana approves. Uh, Morrigan does not so much approve of that. She believes that these pe it's just survival of the fittest. Huh. Don't suppose you're looking to buy something? Yeah, I am indeed. Yeah. Alright. Just don't buy everything up. So those of you who are familiar with the game, you can probably guess what my team is going to be like towards the end of the game. Feel free to offer your thoughts in the comments as to what you think my team's going to be like. Like, the one I keep most consistently with me. Um, let's see, what else has he got? Enchanter stuff, we've already got plenty of that. Um, well, we may as well make Alistair's outfit match. Ooh, that'd be nice, but I can't wear it yet. <laughs> and a helmet. Steel helmet. That works. Um, ooh, wine. That's another gift. And I do want to get into uh, gifts, at least briefly here. Um, while in general you can technically give any gift as you want to any of the team members, if you actually pay attention to what their interests are, what enough. they talk about, um, it should be pretty, pretty obvious, um, when there are specific gifts that, to go to specific people. Um, and I don't think I have any specific to Alistair just yet, so I'm gonna, yeah. But let's, yep, get those to match, and splint mail, boots steel, there we go. And let's cap that off. Literally. <laughs> and then do we have any better weapons for you? Don't think I've gotten rid of anything yet. Great sword. Great sword, chase and flat blade. Very nice, but um those are not good for him. And his weapon, the warden's long sword, is fine. So Liliana. Um, what am I thinking? Alright, I still don't have a crossbow, so I'm going to give her the longbow for now. Because she works a lot better as a ranged character. Um, that's what her auto... Oh, and you can see people's approval. Bernard's is automatically at 100. There's nothing you can do to actually really lower that. Um, Alistair's at 8 approval. Not bad at all. And Liliana is, pr is still going to be neutral. In fact, again, speaking of approval, 
Okay, what I always do before I talk to someone, and you may notice this, I always save, um, just in case, yes, it's low during this, um, just in case I end up clicking the wrong thing, because they can very sharply disapprove of you, <laughs> depending on what you say to them. But hey, Alistair. What do you need? Do you want to talk about Duncan? You don't have to do that. I know you didn't know him as long as I did. Um, he was like a father to you. I understand. I... I should have handled it better. Duncan warned me right from the beginning that this could happen. Any of us could die in battle. I shouldn't have lost it, not when so much is riding on us, not with the blight and... and everything. I'm sorry. No harm done, Alistair. I'd like to have a proper funeral for him. Maybe once this is all done, if we're still alive. I don't think he had any family to speak of. He had you. I suppose he did. It probably sounds stupid, but part of me wishes I was with him, in the battle. I feel like I abandoned him. No, I understand completely. Of course. I'd be dead then, wouldn't I? It's not like that would make him happier. I think he came from High Ever, or so he said. Maybe I'll go up there sometime, see about putting up something in his honor. I don't know. Have you had someone close to you die? Not that I mean to pry, I'm just... <laughs> My entire family was murdered just recently. Oh. Oh, of course. How stupid of me to forget. Here I am, going on and on about Duncan, and you... I am so sorry. Thank you. Really, I mean it. It was good to talk about it, at least a little. Maybe I'll go to High Ever with you, when you go. I'd like that. So would he, I think. Plus six. That's quite a jump, actually. So let's see, where does it fall now? I said Alistair. One more, come on. Plus 14 approval. That's not bad at all. Um, and at different in specific intervals, um, the approval, like if you get him to 25 approval, he actually gets um, an inspired trait. I think his is strength? No, not strength. I forget what it is. But anyway. What do you need? And you'll actually notice the more you talk with someone, if you get their approval up, um, that the way they talk to you changes, too. Ask away. Which is really a nice touch. Um, what can the Templar do, exactly? Essentially, they're trained to fight. The Chantry would tell you that the Templars exist simply to defend. But don't let them fool you. They're an army. The other main purpose for a Templar is, of course, to hunt mages. To that end, we train in talents that drain mana and disrupt spells. Hmm. Hmm. Have you hunted many mages? No, no, no. So, couldn't others learn these talents? Perhaps. But there usually isn't much of an opportunity. The Chantry keeps a close rein on its Templars. We are given lyrium to help develop our magical talents, you see. Which means we become addicted. And since the Chantry controls the lyrium trade with the dwarves, well, I'm sure you can put two and two together. That's horrible. I, I can't believe they would do that. Well, they do it, and they feel perfectly justified. You don't need lyrium in order to learn the Templar talents. Lyrium just makes Templar's talents more effective. Or so I was told. Maybe it doesn't even do that. The Chantry usually doesn't let their Templars get away, either, so they can spread their secrets. I'm a bit of an exception. Lucky me. He approves plus one. And on that note, I'm actually going to cut off the recording here. But I hope to see you on the next installment of Let's Play Dragon Age Origins. Yeah.